Hi everybody. How are you all? I hope you people are keeping yourself fit, healthy and active. More than this, I think you people are enjoying the endless holidays in spite of your online classes. Good children. Now, what are we going to see in today's lesson? It is just a continuation of the lesson which we have already seen friction so under friction we have discussed a lot and lot before what are the fact what is friction and what are the factors affecting friction and what are the types of frictions all this we have discussed and in today's lesson we are going to discuss whether friction is needed or not required we are going to come to a conclusion whether it is needed or not required do we want friction or don't want friction now let us take some of the examples and analyze whether friction is required or not required when we want to write anything we hold a pen in our hand and not only that we use our hands for eating for drinking etc so holding an object requires friction so do we require friction yes absolutely we require friction and next we can uh, discuss on striking a matchstick without friction there will not be a fire in the matchsticks right and you would have seen some animals like snakes monkeys climbing on the trees even men they climb the trees to fetch something on the trees so climbing on the tree also requires friction so these are the cases we have discussed and they reveal friction is absolutely required by us now let us take some other examples when we buy the new chapels or shoes it has grooves on its bottom surface so what happens to it after you use it for quite some time the surface is becoming wear and tear and finally you come to a position where you cannot further use it and you have to go for a new one similarly the tires in your bicycles cars or any automobiles it has to be replaced periodically because the friction exerted between the tire and the ground makes the tire to lose the grooves and when you don't replace the tires with new you will meet with an accidents right so in this case we can conclude that friction is not desirable we don't want friction and mainly in some other examples like machineries so machineries they work by moving one part with the other so when one part moves with the other friction produces and when the parts are moving along with the other there is a wear and tear so the machine gets repaired quite often and that particular part which moves you have to replace it especially in automobiles due to this friction the part becomes worn out and you have to replace it 
and if you don't replace it it produces more noise as well as it consumes more fuel so in these cases we can come to the conclusion it is not desirable so we cannot come to a conclusion whether we need friction or whether we don't want friction in some cases we require friction in some other cases we don't require friction and that's why we say friction is a necessary evil you know what is the meaning of evil right so it is a necessary evil we want it though it gives heat as well as the burn out of machines still we require it because we make many things out of friction as i told you writing eating uh, climbing so all this requires friction hence children so we will analyze this factor whether it is required or not required in detail in this lesson and also we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of friction and further we will also discuss on how to minimize friction and as well as how to increase friction so all this we will discuss in today's lesson children so listen to the lessons very carefully get understand things and we'll go into the lessons come on let yes children we see in this slide about the friction is useful how friction is useful friction is useful for many of our daily activities let us see one by one it is possible to hold a tumbler or a glass due to friction between the hand and the tumbler so we are able to hold a glass on in our hands due to friction it is possible to walk on the ground due to friction between the feet and the ground so walking is also enabled by friction it is possible to write with a pen or a pencil on a paper but due to friction between the pen or the pencil and the paper it is possible to write on a blackboard due to friction between the chalk and the blackboard it is possible to move automobiles on road side due to friction between the tires and the road friction between bricks help in the construction of buildings so friction is useful in all these cases as we had seen yes children we will summarize some of the important facts on the advantages of friction so it helps us in walking conveniently it saves us from slipping it helps us in writing on a piece of paper friction is helpful in eating as well as drinking lighting a matchstick by rubbing is all due to friction nails and screws join two surfaces due to friction we can climb a tree not only we you can you would have seen some animals like monkeys even snakes climbing a tree so climbing a tree requires friction trains can run on the rails in fact life becomes impossible if there is no friction in nature now we will pass on to the next what are the undesirable qualities of friction how friction is undesirable soles of shoes wear out due to friction so we often replace our shoes and chappels after we use it for a long time due to the sole getting worn out similarly 
the tires of bicycles and automobiles wear out due to friction steps of staircases and foot over bridges in railway station they also wear due to friction knives and razors lose their sharpness due to friction so these are the undesirable facts all about friction so children let us conclude or let us revise or summarize about the disadvantages of friction the main disadvantage of friction is that it produces heat in various parts of machines in this way some useful energy is wasted as heat energy so this you can experience by rubbing your palms together when you rub your palms together you can see the production of heat and you can feel it yourself so this heat energy is the major disadvantage of friction due to friction we have to exert more power in machines friction opposes the motion due to friction noise is also produced in machines due to friction engines of automobiles consume more fuel which is a monetary loss children so far we have seen about the advantages as well as the disadvantages of friction do we require friction or don't we require friction it is a confusing question so is it necessary or is it not necessary we cannot come to a conclusion on this because sometimes it is helpful sometimes it is a hindrance so we say friction is a necessary evil it's a very great statement in physics a necessary evil it though it is an evil it is being required so we say friction is a necessary evil there are instances in daily life where friction is necessary for example without friction we cannot hold objects in our hands we cannot walk and cannot light a match stick sometimes friction is not undesirable for example friction between machinery parts which causes wear and tear as friction is advantageous to us it is considered as a friend but due to its disadvantage it is a foe depending on the circumstance friction can be a help or hindrance thus we conclude friction is an unnecessary evil children let us see where friction is required to be increased where we can increase friction you may be wondering previously we have discussed about lot of disadvantages or the undesirable situations where friction plays a role though we have so many undesirable qualities of friction sometimes we need more friction than the usual so that is what we are going to learn now how to increase friction as we all know friction is a evil but certain places we want more friction to take place like in cars shoes and grip anything so we will discuss in detail in the upcoming slides now in this slide we will see about the increasing friction as shown in the figure the threaded tires of cars trucks and the bulldozers provide better grip with the ground increase 
friction by using brake system of bicycles and automobiles. Kabaddi players rub their hands with soil for a better grip of their opponents. So the tires are being threaded to increase the friction between the ground and the tires. And the braking system is increased by increasing the threaded brakes on the surface of the running parts. Similarly, Kabaddi players also, they start their game by rubbing their hands with the sand to have a better grip for the opponents. So in these three cases, friction is being increased. Children, let us see some of the facts about increasing friction in this slide. There are many situations where we cannot do anything without friction. To overcome skidding along a slippery road, we adopt measures to increase friction. Kacha roads get muddy and slippery during rains. It is not possible to walk or drive on such roads. For this, sand and gravel are spread over the mud to make the road rough. Tires of our vehicles and also soles of the shoes are grooved. This increases friction. This helps easy rolling of vehicles on the roads and also provides better gripping with the shoes on the floor. Mountaineers also wear spiked shoes to increase friction while walking on the snow. Now let us summarize where friction is increased. Friction can be increased by increasing the roughness of the surface in contact. Examples, the soles of shoes are grooved to have a better grip on the floor. The tires of vehicles are threaded to increase the grip on the road. The brake pads of vehicles are rough to stop moving vehicles when the brakes are applied. Gymnasts apply some coarse substance on their hands for a better grip. So in these cases, friction is being increased. Children, we have seen about increasing friction all these slides. Can friction be reduced? Yes. Friction can also be reduced and reducing friction plays a vital role in our day-to-day -day life in many of the events. Now, let us look into the uh, ways where we minimize the friction. There are various ways to reduce friction. First, by using lubricants. Friction increases as the roughness of the surface increases. Lubricants fill the pores and gaps between the contact surfaces and reduce friction. Now, if you have your bicycles, then you maintain the bicycles with oiling on the parts where they are moving, especially the chain parts and the pedaling part you use to lubricate it with the help of an oil. So lubrication reduces friction. It smoothens the rough surface. Second way is by polishing the surface. Friction can also be reduced by polishing the surface. It makes the surface even and hence reduces the friction. Third way, it's by using ball bearings. So rotating machines can be mounted on ball bearings. Rolling friction is lesser than 
sliding friction this concept we have seen earlier so where are the rolling uh, ma machines are there example yeah ceiling fan and all this we will discuss in the next slides then by streamlining streamlining reduces the area of contact and thus reduces friction for example if you see the shape of the boat or shape of the aeroplane we say it is streamlined so streamlining the shape helps to reduce the friction and in the next slides we will see how they are being applied now this slide gives you the various ways in which friction is reduced friction can be reduced by using lubricants like powders or oils and greases using rollers or wheels using ball bearings we sprinkle powder on a carom board to reduce friction oil or grease is applied between moving parts of a machine to reduce friction wheels are used in vehicles to reduce friction ball bearings are used in ceiling fans bicycles and vehicles to reduce friction so these are the ways in which we reduce friction in our day to day life Yes, children, by this, we come to an end of today's lesson. Today, we have seen all about the situations where we require friction and the situations where friction is undesirable. And finally, we concluded friction is a necessary evil. So, we cannot completely eradicate friction and Similarly, we cannot completely avoid friction. So, it is a necessary evil. And also we have seen situations where we have to increase friction and where we have to reduce friction. So, by this we come to an end of the full chapter called friction. So, children, after just listening to these slides, Go through the text, open your textbook, go from the beginning till the last uh, along with the audios and the slides which I had given to you. So you must be in a better position to understand this lesson. Hence children, have a good idea about friction and that's it children.